Hey guys, so <laughs> I got a little, little bit of a haircut, <laughs> just a little bit. I feel like I got it like a smidge bit shorter than last time, but I feel like it's mostly the same length. Do y'all think that I look younger when my hair is shorter like this than when my, I have long hair or older? Because a lot of people have a lot of different opinions. Today's a chill video because I have my tea. It's my first time having peppermint tea and it's so good. And then I'm just in my men's Walmart men's sweatshirt. I'm gonna be doing a Shop Masse haul. I haven't ordered from them in a while. I don't know when my last Shop Masse haul was, but I'll link it up here. I'm super excited for everything because I ordered a bunch of new AOA Studio products and a lot. I restocked on a lot of my favorite lashes and just got a lot more lashes because I've been getting into them. I hope y'all enjoy the video and let's just get started. I realized I forgot my scissors. Sorry. Let me go get. Oh, it's really quick. Let's open it. Just have your like purple tissue paper on top that says Missy. And I just love how they always bubble wrap everything. Oh, I can already tell those lashes don't look the same. <laughs> this is what it looks like when you open it. I got a lot of eyelashes. So I got. 523. I got two 523s, but I actually like how these ones look. They're just not the same as my other ones. And the S4s, these are just like totally different. <laughs> like this one looks a lot more longer. They're kind of two different lashes, but they kind of still look a little similar. Then I got the S7 and I went ahead and got two of them, even though I've never had this one before, just because whenever I find a lash, Normally, I just order one of them and then I end up loving it, but my luck, I'll probably end up hating this one. It's like one length the whole way, so I don't know if I'm going to like that or not. They look pretty dramatic, but at the same time, they could look natural. I don't know. Then I got the AOA Studio Wonder Blender, but this is like the Paw Paw Charity one where it's supposed to be like twice as soft. The teardrop one was sold out, but I was like, I really want to just try it out, and this is a lot softer than those other ones. I do not like those other ones. I'll be trying this one out in the video. Whoa. <laughs> These look huge. So I got the AOA Studio Violet Lashes. I didn't really like how they looked like looking at them like this on the picture, but I did like how they look on like her eyes. Oh, and they still feel like super thin. Like the lashes feel really light, surprisingly. Then I got the Iconic Alexis Lashes that I talk about. That's what you say, Iconic, right? If it's like well known, I don't know. They got five of these because y'all know. Y'all know. The only thing about Shop Masse lashes is they aren't all the exact same. Like some of these have a little more volume, some of these have a lot more length, some of these are a lot shorter. This one is like shorter and this one is more like longer and fluffier. I also got the new Chloe lashes. So like the violet and then the Chloe's were the ones that they just launched. But they look like really weird because they're like, you see how they're like. I don't know how you even say that. Online, they look kind of risque. Robby Christie's favorites. I got the pure cotton squares just because I thought I would try some other cotton round type things. There's only 40 in here, but like, I mean, it's a dollar. If y'all have never heard of Shop and Say, everything is a dollar. I don't know how you haven't, like how you've come to my video and never heard of it, but that's what they look like. They seem really sturdy, like look at that. They're not pulling apart at all, which I like. And there's like three little, I don't even know. Look at this, this is bigger than, they're just changing everything. This mirror is bigger than the one that I have, I think. Mine isn't this big. Well, and I got this for someone else, but what if I just need this now, because it's bigger. <laughs> but this is the AOA Studio mirror. The mirror that I use in every single one of my makeup tutorials. Also, my favorite tea tree masks. I got two of those. A lot of these, y'all have already seen. As well as these two brushes. This one I got for someone else. Away Studio F19. I feel like they're longer and thicker. Like, they've made them nicer. This is my favorite highlighter brush. And I wanted to get one for under my eyes. And I also got this AOA Studio F16. It's like a concealer brush. And I got it for the lips because I have like concealer brushes from e.l.f. but they aren't like long. The majority of my order was lashes and then like the brush sets. So I don't really have too many like actual makeup products. I got the AOA Studio Wonder Skin Mattifying Primer. If you've watched my channel, all you know that I have dry skin. So you're probably like, why are you getting a mattifying primer? Shannon, so whenever she tried this out, she said it's felt kind of like, mmm, smells just like the illuminating primer. It doesn't feel as like silky as I thought it would. But, well man, that's sad. She thought that it felt like professional or like 
but this is moisturizing. <laughs> well, that's sad. I didn't want an actual mattifying primer. I don't think the lines look any different on any of these. It's fine. We'll have to try it out. I got the AOA Studio Perfect BB Cream in Fair, and I hope this is light enough. I feel like it's like perfect shade, or like just like the hair too dark, you know? Like you can definitely tell a difference. <laughs> Literally the hauls are just showing you what I got, and then I'll do the video where I'm like, you know, actually trying out the products and that's the actual important part. I got the AOA Studio Brow products as well. So I got the Sculpting Brow Pencil, the triangular tip sort of situation, and I got the shade Dark Brown. I feel like it's a little bit warm, but we'll make it work. And then you have a spoolie on the other side. I have the actual brush spoolie, you know, and it's a little hard. So it's kind of like the same. Is that just a lot more like squared off? I feel like I'm just being picky. I don't really like this silver packaging. Like, I don't, it just makes it look tacky. I feel like. And then I also got the Go Brow. You can barely see the actual letters, but it says Go Brow. This is what it looks like whenever I just pulled it out the thing and i thought that that was like a bunch of products but those are like the little fibers i also got this in dark brown this looks a little bit darker than the eyebrow pencil but it's fine i really don't like the packaging <laughs> they look weird i didn't look at these at first like when they came out as like new arrivals i didn't even look at them because of the packaging but then i saw someone's haul and they said that these were like so good and they swatched them and they were like super pigmented also look at that thin brush these are the Santi diamond eyeliners. I have glitter liners and I think those are from Santi as well. I'm not sure. I got blue and pink. It's very descriptive names. That's like two layers right there of the blue. Whoa, these smell like, I don't know. I don't know, but it smells kind of like a little bit like candy-ish. The only thing is it's super hard to take out. Okay, so the pink one is a little more crusty. But they're still super pigmented. I kind of wanted to get all of them, but I was like, no, I need to try them out first. The last, like, makeup product I got is the AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder in Soft Light. And the reason that I got the Soft Light one was because the translucent one had glitter in it. So I didn't want it, but of course, like, after I ordered, they finally came out with the matte one. I'm not going to open that and swatch it. I'll save that for the first impression. The last things in the box are the brushes. I was never really intrigued by their like AM PM brush sets like from this line. I was kind of just like, you know, I have brushes like that. I don't need more. But then they came out with this. These are like a professional brushes. That's what it looks like. This brush roll smells like paint. I think I'm going to open every single one of them. It's fine. F21, F23, F24, F22, E135, E136, E137, E138, E139. It's that brush set. Now onto this one, the Paw Paw Charity one. That's why it's pink, plus it has a lot fancier. E129. This one's like more of that tapered brush as well. Let's just compare. The white one is a lot bigger. Um, and I feel like it has more of a pronounced tip. This one's fatter and this one's skinnier. You need both? I don't know. Then we have just like a classic pencil brush. E132. We have the E126 and E130. They're pretty similar. The E126 is just a little bigger. These both could be similar to E135, but E135 once again is skinnier. This one could be a little similar. The E127. It's not really dense at all. You also have an angled brush in this one. Then we also have another angled brush. This one's a lot fatter though. I feel like these are just going to be more detail work and these are just going to be actual blending. This is the E125. An angled brush with a spoolie on the end which is the E133. It looks really precise. A really detailed pencil brush which is the E134. E131, which is an actual packer brush. It's a lot more dense. E128, which is, once again, more of a tapered blending brush compared to the 136. 136 is a lot more skinny. This one's a little more flimsy. I don't know. I don't really know. I really am excited about all these brushes and having, like, a brush case. This video was not sponsored, but... Shall I say? 
I love you. If you're watching this video, you probably aren't, but it's fine. I love your website so much. I really hope y'all enjoyed this haul. Look out for the first impressions because, girl, I'm so excited for it. Even though I feel like I really didn't get that much actual makeup, they're all like eyelashes or tools, but it's fine. Please leave any good recommendations down below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!